Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Welcome back everyone. Hopefully you've been enjoying your Thursday morning and hopefully you've had a good week so far. It is very cold this morning. That colder air has moved in and our temperatures are near freezing. It's 33 in Woodville, 32 over in Hammond, 37 in Baton Rouge and 35 in Gonzales. Now it is a nice, beautiful morning. We're greeted with sunshine, but again, very cold. Don't forget to layer up before leaving out the door. Our temperatures are about 11 degrees cooler now here in Baton Rouge than they were 24 hours ago. So again, it's very very cold, but we'll be warming up as we go through the next day or two. 37 in Baton Rouge. We have this pretty shot of the sky this morning with these beautiful sunrise colors, and we still have some high wispy clouds present to start off our Thursday. Highs will be in the low to mid 60s, 64 for Zachary, 65 for Baton Rouge, and 66 for Gonzales. It will be a dry day still, but as we have the high pressure shifting east, we'll have southerly southeasterly winds bringing in that warmer air and more moisture, so we'll begin to feel a little bit more humid for the end of this week and for Saturday. And then by Friday morning, we could possibly have a couple of spotty showers popping up, but overall today staying cool, comfortable and dry. Now with warmer air in place, that will help our overnight lows to be a little bit higher. We'll be pretty much in the 40s by the time you're waking up on Friday morning and beginning your day. Overnight lows will be at 48 for Baton Rouge. 75 is the high temp for Baton Rouge on Friday and 74 for Jackson, Louisiana. There's also a slight chance of showers for tomorrow, mainly expecting rain, any rain to pop up during the evening hours though. Not completely ruling out a couple of showers earlier in the day, but mainly expecting it for the evening. Now with warmer air being present, our highs will be mid 70s on Friday, upper 70s on Saturday. Then here comes the next cold front and we'll be near 60 again for the high on Sunday. So increase in moisture will help our dew points to rise. They'll be feeling more humid and a little muggy for tomorrow and Saturday and rain chances around 20% for Friday, 80% for Saturday, and then rain chances will be decreasing for Sunday and for early next week. The cold front should be moving through on Saturday, so we'll still have cloud cover increasing between today, tomorrow, moisture building in, warmer air continuing to move in as well. And then here's the front should be moving through sometime Saturday night. Sometimes that can change depending on the speed of the front, but so far it looks like it'll still reach our area Saturday night. Then as the front clears early Sunday morning, we'll still have some lingering showers, but overall rain should be out of our way by daybreak Sunday morning, and the rest of that day will be cooler and breezy and drier. We do have a slight risk for severe weather covering our northwestern areas near Point Coupee, West Feliciana parishes, while the rest of the greater Baton Rouge area and southeast Louisiana are under a marginal risk. So again, with this next cold front moving in, we could possibly see a couple of thunderstorms becoming strong to severe. But again, those are just possibilities. But just to recap, we we'll look at your seven day forecast highs in the mid 60s for today. And then we have a slight chance of showers for Friday. Rain chances increase more for Saturday. Cold front moves in Sunday. Rain should be out of the way around sunrise. And then we'll have cooler, drier weather for the rest of Sunday. And it will be breezy. And highs will still be near 60 on that day and Monday. And in the low 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday with cool, comfortable, and dry weather returning again. And our overnight lows will be going back into the 30s early next week. 